Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here is your 5-minute tip for this week. I love Google Sheets and I love conditional formatting, but one of the things I always ask for is I wish you could highlight the whole row instead of only highlighting one cell. Well, I just learned how to do this, so I'm sharing it with you. Don't forget to click the thumbs up to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my whole sheet using what I call the empty parking lot. And then I'm going to come to format and conditional formatting. So the kind of normal conditional formatting is I would say something like, hey, if the text contains the word Jones, I want you to highlight it in yellow. And it will only highlight that one cell, right? It's like, oh, I wish you could highlight the whole row. So if, for example, if I want you to highlight the whole row for all of my students who made A's in green. Let's see how to do that. So I'm going to click rule. And where it says it's not empty, I want to go to custom formulas all the way at the bottom. So custom formula is... I'm going to put this formula beneath the video in the description, but just know that you cannot copy and paste it. So if you copy and paste it and just change out stuff, it's not going to work. You have to type it yourself, but at least you'll have that visual. So I'm going to have put an equal sign. I'm going to put a dollar sign, and then I'm going to choose which row. So we're looking at C, so I'm going to put C1. And then I'm going to put an equal sign again, and say what word am I looking for? What number am I looking for? So I'm going to be looking for Jones, just like we just did. So I'm going to put quotation mark, Jones, quotation mark. Now when I do that, I can also pick my color. Now notice when we did it earlier, only one cell, right? No, it's the whole row. So if it sees Jones, it puts the whole row there. And I only said Jones, so just when it says Jones, and I only said C. So if you're saying like, well, Desiree Jones is right here, but that's in D. So I told it to only look at C. So that's why it's only highlighting C, Jones, but it's highlighting the whole row. And then if you want to do that again, click done. Click another rule. Again, is not empty. Change that to custom formula is. Put that equal sign. Put that dollar sign. And then we're now we're going to look at, let's say, E1. And then I'm going to put equal sign again. And what am I looking for? So I'm going to say I'm looking for desk. D-E-S-K. And now I'm going to choose my color. And there I go. So, oh, I don't want to change the text color. Let me change that. I just want to change the fill color. Um, so there I go. So there you go. That's how you can highlight the entire row using conditional formatting. Good luck.